football is the home of the Super Bowl. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Falcons and the Patriots, and it comes your way next. Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to the Patriots franchise. Tonight's game, the Super Bowl, featuring the 16-1 New England Patriots versus the 16-1 Atlanta Falcons. New England owner Big Bill stated earlier on during Super Bowl week that this game would be about defense, period, and thus openly discussed utilizing more of a ball control offense and controlling the line of scrimmage on both sides as being keys to victory today. All season, unbeknownst to the viewers, user K-Goat had been limiting himself to mostly I-form close and I-form slot with some gun-tied offset tight end to demonstrate that indeed these formations could be used to win a Super Bowl on all Madden. And Pat's owner Big Bill decided to showcase this on the national stage tonight, publicly proclaiming that he did not believe the Atlanta Falcons would score a single point, a bold claim that the media pundits did not appreciate, expressing concerns of delusion on Big Bill's part. Well, on the opening drive, the Patriots' defense put those doubts to rest as the Falcons' offense was literally mauled by the suffocating nature of New England's crushing D. Trenton Simpson and Mr. Sweat himself literally smothered poor rookie Desmond Ritter on consecutive sacks, forcing a quick three and out. Justin Fields came out immediately on fire, incorporating a short passing, clock chewing scheme, and after initially hitting Rashid Shaheed over the middle for a big gainer, dinked and dunked his team downfield with wide receiver screens and RPOs. Chewing the entire first quarter and a good chunk of the second quarter up before turning the rock over to James Cook. And Mr. Cook took that rock and methodically pounded the Falcons defense into submission with a final dagger coming in the form of an outside run to the promised land giving New England a 7 to nothing lead. On the Falcons' second possession, after stuffing an already frustrated B. John Robinson, Desmond Ritter was terrorized by the stifling Patriots pass rush, causing him to have happy feet in the pocket and eventually forcing him to scramble to the outside for fear of his life before the young rookie quarterback finally succumbed to the pressure lofting an ill-advised pass downfield into the awaiting, soft, caring hands of all-pro cornerback Legereus Sneed, who gladly cradled the ball gently in his hands and ran it back for a big chunk of yards, setting New England up to chew the rest of the first half out. Poised to run out the clock and take a nice two-score lead into the second half, Justin Fields dinked and dunked his team downfield, setting up a final shot at the end zone for what would appear to be an overwhelming 14 to nothing lead. Unfortunately for the Patriots, the Falcons showed exactly why they had such a magical season as their defense clamped down and sacked Mr. Fields, forcing an easy field goal attempt. Even more unfortunately, however, user K-Goat was not up to snuff with his stick work and the easy field goal was shanked wide left leaving the Patriots with a 7-0 lead heading into the third quarter. Enraged by the missed opportunity, Justin Fields came out on fire in the second half, hitting young Rashid Shaheed on two consecutive pass plays. He then turned to his all-pro receiving option Gabe Davis, hitting the young phenom on two consecutive passes to set up a James Cook run into the gut of the Falcons' vaunted run D, giving New England a 14 to nothing lead and more momentum than a locomotive on a lubed track. And that momentum was simply too much for young Desmond Ritter, who was yet again simply mauled by Quiddy Pay and young rookie phenom Trenton Simpson, whose terrorizing pass rush forced the Falcons yet again to punt with nothing to show for their efforts. And the New England offense knew exactly what to do to seal this Super Bowl victory, pounding the rock on the ground and dinking and dunking their way downfield yet again with wide receiver screens and RPOs, chewing up what precious time was left in the fourth quarter 
and bringing them step by step closer to a game ceiling touchdown. After another run up the gut by James Cook put the Patriots into the red zone, Fields chewed the clock under two minutes before finally putting the Falcons out of their misery with an easy outside run by jumping James Cook to put New England up 21 to nothing, ensuring yet another Super Bowl victory for Big Bill and his Patriots. After a final humiliating three and out by the Falcons, it was time to celebrate with all that remained being chewing what little time was left on the clock out. While fans in New England rejoiced, the entire Patriots team and coaching staff had a few minutes to look back on the season, which was filled with hope and promise. While the Pats had completely retooled their team in the offseason, and nobody believed they were capable of even making the playoffs, much less winning a Super Bowl, it was comforting to realize that all of the doubters, all of the critics, were finally put in their place. Big Bill was ready to hoist yet another Lombardi trophy, this time as an owner, and he knew that today he would be scheduling a massage appointment at a local strip mall. Big Bill now understood what Mr. Kraft had been experiencing all these years, and it was time to celebrate this quote-unquote happy ending. Well, fellas, we did it. We won the Super Bowl. We shut the Falcons out 21 to nothing. We didn't miss a field goal. Um, we just played very conservatively. Uh, we didn't give the Falcons a lot of, of time. I think they might have had five possessions the whole game, maybe four. Um, so, you know, we didn't try to really air it out much or anything like that. We just played well within ourselves. And um, I could tell from the opening drive that we were going to be able to, to shut their offense down. Our defense played spectacularly. Um, James Cook was the MVP. Um, 79 yards rushing, I think. Three touchdowns. Um, so, you know, we almost an undefeated season um, other than a sim game loss. Um, all in all, this was a very successful season one franchise. So we're going to go ahead and do the off season now. Um, and that will be a completely different video. This is my favorite part of franchises, the off season, um, completely restructuring the team. I'm going to do my best to get three top 10 picks. Um, the more I think about it, uh, really quarterback, wide receiver and tight end um you know we're gonna have to dump one of our receivers anyway and dawson knox just does not i, I don't know he's just not playing well um i want to i want to try that bowers guy um i think he's going to be something special so um we're going to try to get three top 10 picks um so i will show you how we do that but anyway thank you for being on this journey with me um this was really, really fun to do. So I'm gonna keep doing this franchise. Um, this is really exciting and really fun. So that's what this is all about, just having fun. So anyway, thank you guys. Thanks for all the support. Um, I hope you enjoyed the highlights, some of the, some of the funny things that I said in there, um, but uh, it's been really great. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day.